Even after the congressional mission got into the air, there was some question of the propriety under the new House Ethics Code and whether the legislators could, even on an educational mission for the President of the United States, accept the hospitality of the communist Chinese government. Congressman Jack Edwards, who concedes the group was selected hurriedly last week, says if there is any ethics question when he gets back, he'll reimburse the communist government in full for all costs. But he said before he left that the kind of detail could not prevent him from making the trip. Well, this is a very unusual type trip uh, going into China where we're just now reestablishing relations um, after 25 or 30 years. This trip is part of uh, those contemplated by the Shanghai Communique to have an interchange of cultural and political uh, activities between the two countries to try to open the door a little wider and get to know their people better. And uh, we have been briefed uh, quite extensively by our State Department and by the President's uh, Foreign Affairs Advisor. It is not our purpose to go over there and try to infuriate those people, but to try to establish a, a reasonable relationship with them. And we don't want to do anything that, that uh, brings the uh, communication between the two countries to an abrupt halt. The president has said he's not going to China until the communist Chinese send a high-level group to this country. And Edwards believes the primary goal of this mission is to convince the Chinese leaders to accept the president's hospitality, whoever those leaders might be at the time. John Chambers in Washington for Channel 10 Newsbeat.